Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 25 in chapter 22. Chapter 22 is about the Gaussian's law. And we can see this is a follow-up problem for problem 24. In this case, we have two conductor plants, two conducting plants with the same size, the charge is the same size, and the magnitude is the same. So the charge density, we can see, is a positive 5, positive 5, right? We need to find the electric field density between them and outside of them. So in this case, we can consider this charge, this uh, electric field density for the positive charged plant we learned in the previous chapter is 5 divided by 2 epsilon naught. Therefore, the EL and ER is a magnitude for this electric field dance, right? For this uh, charged plant, so we can write it look like this one. Now we look at the space between them. So this one, you can see this is two vectors at the opposite direction, but with equal magnitude. So the addition for these two vectors is zero. And outside of this, uh, them two planes, so look at this location. This is still two vectors, but with the same directions. So we add these two vectors together, just uh, two times the magnitude. The final answer is zero. The next one asks you, what if the planes are non-conducting? Nothing changes, right? If this one, these two planes are non-conducting, that means the charges will uniformly distributed on this plane, but uh, it will not affect the electric field density between and outside of the planes because the enclosed charge will not change. The only thing change is the electric field density inside of this plane. Plant will not be zero. Thank you.